Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Spark 3 Crusher back at it again, bringing you another tabletop knife review. And this time, boy, do I have a sweet knife. <laughs> this thing is amazing. And yes, if you haven't caught on to that little joke, that little pun I put in at the intro here, we're talking about the Kershaw Oh So Sweet. And yes, this is an oh so sweet knife. <laughs> this thing is amazing. And I can't believe that it's only $20, $25. That is just an amazing price for this knife. But it doesn't, you know, come perfect. It does have its flaws. So I, I can't say it's the perfect knife, but I can say it's a great knife. I mean, it, it is really good. But let's get into it, guys, shall we? So the blade steel, yes, 8CR13 MOV. Say what you want about that. But I still say it's a great steel. I mean, for the price and... um the edge retention, it's okay. It has an okay edge retention, and it sharpens like, holy crap. This thing will get razor blade sharp. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten my um, I've got my CQC 6K and my Squid, which you both have 8CR13 MOV steel, to hair popping sharp. So it, it is a great steel for the price. Now, however, the handles on this thing, I don't know. I don't know if I like them or not. I mean, they're funky looking. They look cool. But they don't really provide that much traction. I mean, if you look at the, the Benchmade here, it's kind of the same material. And this thing just is very grippy, even up top, just very grippy. But when it comes to the Oh So Sweet, this is no grip up top. So I have to take points off of that. There's just no grip on this thing up top. And, you know, if you're, you know, trying to plow down on it like this, you know, getting in, jabbing into something, your your knife is just going to slip. This thumb right here is just going to be slipping all day. And, um, I mean, I guess you could put some, I guess you could put some, uh, nothing fancy famous skate tape on it. But, you know, I want a knife to come, you know, with jimping up top so I don't have to do stuff to it. So I don't have to add stuff to it to make it good. So I will take points off for that. But other than that, I mean, that's the only, that's the only criticism I have. And uh, maybe they'll fix it, maybe they won't, I don't know. But it is a great knife other than that. I mean, just look at the pocket clip, though. That's just funky. That just looks awesome, doesn't it? I mean, you got, look at all the other pocket clips here. We've got the Benchmade. We've got my Gerber. Kershaw. We've got the Spyderco. They all look the same. They all look, you know, like a standard pocket clip. It, look at this. Even my, um. My flashlight, all, they all kind of had the same design. Not the Kershaw. The Kershaw in itself is just something different. Something unique. Something that makes it stand out. And I like that. I like something that stands out. I like something that's just different, new. Something that's fresh to the market. Something that makes it unique. And this knife is all about being unique. I mean, just look at this. Look at the um, handles on this thing. This thing is just awesome looking. I mean, it, it, it doesn't provide traction, but it looks awesome. It, it looks kind of like a spider web. And I think, I really wish they should, uh, like, do a Spider-Man version of this. It would be perfect. I mean, this, this would look good in, in like, Spider-Man colors. You know, that red and blue. That This thing, this knife would look good in that. I really think so. But, I don't know. Maybe you could paint it. I don't know. It, it would look good, though. But this, I mean, it is a liner lock. I know, I know. I've said a lot of things about liner locks. So I don't like them. But this, this lockup, I mean, that is just strong. It's just like all my other, you know, the Tenacious, the Gerber. This liner lock is strong, and I don't think it will ever fail you. However, the um, how far how far it goes on the blade? It's uh, three quarters, not fifty percent. Well, yeah, around three quarters, maybe. I don't know. It kind of locks up pretty uh far along the blade here. I I don't know. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I can't say anything. It locks up pretty strong, and the blade centering is a little off to the left here. So, I mean, there's there's a few little imperfections, but it's 20 bucks. You're not going to get, you know, the perfect, you're not going to get, you know, like a Benchmade quality or Spyderco quality here. So, but for 20 bucks, it, it, it is pretty well built, and I'd say this is good quality, and I, I mean, I'd buy it again if I lost this or if it broke. I would. I really would. That's how much I like this knife. And it also is an assisted uh, flipper. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. But look how fast this thing is. I mean, I've been flicking this thing for three weeks now. And it's just fast. Um, I, the owner at Overwatch, he has a Kershaw Cryo. He's had it for about a year. And, and that flipper, I mean, that uh, spring is still like it was brand new. It just flips open. 
brand new. Crisp, everything. This The Kershaw um, assisted opening is very well designed. So I don't think this spring will ever go out. But let's carry, let's uh compare it up to some other budget, you know, budget kind of knives. So first one, you know, the standard Spartaco Tenacious, very standard, 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you buy it from. Uh, CQC 6K, Kershaw Emerson, 30, 40, depending on where you buy it from. Um, Gerber PR 3.0, I don't know if you can find these anymore. I really don't. I haven't seen those in a while. That, that's a really old knife, probably early 2000, 2005 knife. And finally, the open on number eight. So, really, what what is this knife? Here? What does this knife here, you know, have have compared to all the other knives? And I, I really think it's just the same, just you know, the same old, same old. Any of these knives will do you the you know, good EDC, good kind of borderline tactical if need be style knife. But I don't think you're going to get that one off, that uh, you know, uniqueness, that just cool factor that you're just going to get with this oh so sweet. There's just something about this oh so sweet that just makes it special, and that's just its design, its feel, and just the way it just looks kind of just just funny, and it just it pops. This thing just popped at me when I saw it, and I just had to have it because just look at the thing. This thing is just fun to look at, fun to hold, fun to play with. I mean, even the pocket clip's just funky. Everything about this just screams just unique and just fun. So, and for 20 bucks, I mean, I can't complain. I really just can't. So, I love it. I mean, I um, if I had to rate it, it would probably be around 8, eight out of 10. Because, I mean, there's some, there's some problems like the, you know, the gripness, the grips and um, the centering that just kind of knock it a few points. But 8 out of 10, if I lost it or, you know, it breaks, I would definitely buy it again. That's how much I like it. I really do. I really love it. And I know my family doesn't love it because I just keep on <laughs> flicking it open. And this thing is just fun. I mean, I constantly do this every day with this knife. So, I mean, I flicked it open at least, I don't know, 100, 500 times already. And it's just it's just fun to play with. I mean, this is just a fun to play with knife. So, I really, I really enjoy it. You know, I, I recommend it if you're looking for a budget EDC 20, 25 under knife. I really recommend the Oh So Sweet. I mean, however, there is some other knives out there. But for the um, for the blade length and the blade steel, you're really not going to get a $20, $25 knife for, with a 3.5-inch blade with HDR 13 MOV steel. You're really just not. It's going to be really hard to find it. But if you do... You know, let me know, cause I I, I want to know what it is, <laughs> cause I might buy one too. Cause I, I I love budget knives. I I don't know why. I just constantly keep buying budget knives. <laughs> I have an addiction, guys. I really do. I need an intervention. But I really enjoy this knife thoroughly. This is just a really fun knife, and I can't emphasize that enough, guys. It is just a really really fun knife. So, I recommend it. If you're looking for a new EDC knife or you're looking for just a funky knife or maybe a gift for somebody, buy the Oso oh Sweet. They would love it. I mean, I I mean, I mean, love the dang thing. This thing's just awesome and fun to play with. So, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're not into funky. Maybe they are. But I really enjoy it, guys. So, but until next time, guys, you know, I'm Spart3 Crusher. Leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later.